Paralympic Games is one of the largest international sporting events in the 21st century. A fast-paced and intense athletic event that requires paraplegic athletes to be at their fullest abilities. The Games were a major turning point in history because it had proved that individuals with physical disabilities could still thrive for successful athletic performances. Not only did the Games help the physically disabled become mentally and physically stronger, it had also helped improve the designs of the equipment, prosthetics, and vehicles for them. But before the Games became a famous worldwide sporting event, what was the history of it all? To answer this question, let's look back in time and into the life of the founder of this event, Sir Ludwig Gutmann. Sir Ludwig Gutmann was a German-born Jewish-British neurologist who was known as the father of the Paralympic movement. He was born on July 3, 1899 and lived to be 80 years old. Gutmann luckily fled Nazi Germany just before the starting of the Second World War. During his lifetime, he had made several achievements. In 1924, Goodman received his doctorate of medicine from his studies at the University of Freiburg. And in 1933, Goodman was considered one of the top neurosurgeons in Germany. And in 1939, the Nazis ordered him to travel to Portugal to treat a friend of the Portuguese dictator. Goodman took this as an opportunity to escape before the starting of the Second World War. On the 14th of March, 1939, Gutmann's appointment to return to Germany was luckily cancelled when the Council for Assisting Refugee Academics, or the CARA, had arranged for him to remain in the UK with his wife and two children, his son Dennis and his daughter Eva, both aged six, to stay in Oxford. In September 1943, the British government had asked him to establish the National Spinal Cord Injury Centre at Stokes Mandeville Hospital in Buckinghamshire. February 1, 1944, Stokes Mandeville Hospital opened and Goodman was appointed to be the director. And as the director, he felt best that sports and physical activity was a major method of rehabilitation for injured military soldiers and physically disabled. He thought that not only would it help his patients stay physically healthy, but will also help them build up self-respect. It occurred to me to include sport in the physical, psychological and social rehabilitation of these severely handicapped people. And that was probably one of the best thoughts I have ever had as a medical man. On July 28, 1948, the first ever sports competition for the paraplegic, organized by Sir Ludwig Gutmann, is held and known as the Stokes Mandeville Games. The first participants were mainly injured war veterans. While some people thought it was a big step for the paraplegics, others felt different about the subject. They thought it was an embarrassment for the paraplegics. Gutmann, however, had his own idea. He thought that physical activities were a very important part towards the rehabilitation process. How important are games like these to paraplegics? Very important. See, from both the physical and psychological point of view, but uh, the most important is from the point of uh, the, uh, the social reintegration of the paralyzed into society. In 1952, more than 130 international competitors has joined the Stoke Mandeville Games, making the games an even bigger event. In 1956, Goodman was awarded the Sir Thomas Fernley Cup by the International Olympic Committee for his achievements of starting a major sporting movement for the paraplegics. In 1960, the ninth annual International Stokes Mandeville Games, held in Rome, is organized in the style of the Olympics and held alongside the 1960 Summer Olympics, where it received its new name, the Paralympics. And in 1961, Goodman founded the British Sports Association for Disabled which later on became the English Federation of Disability Sport. He also became the president of the International Medical Society of Paraplegia, which is now known as the International Spinal Cord Society, or the ISCS. Sadly, around five months after he suffered a heart attack, he had passed away on the 18th of March, 1980. After Goodman's death, Philip Craven, a former Paralympian from Great Britain, took over as the president of the International Paralympic Committee had been born and so the Paralympic movement is full of these athletes and it's the athletes that will take the movement forward. Also, other forms of the Olympics were formed and held alongside the Paralympics, like the Special Olympics for individuals with mental disabilities and the Deaf Olympics for Deaf athletes. 
and even without Gutmann, the Paralympics kept improving with a goal in its mind, for equality and perspective of the paraplegic. The games gain even more participants and popularity every year. The games were no longer just a small gathering for war veterans, but rather a worldwide event for the physically disabled. The number of participants in the Paralympic Games has increased from 400 athletes back in Rome to over 3,900 athletes from 146 countries in Beijing 2008. Both its Winter Game and Summer Games are now recognized on the world stage. The Games has also changed the world in several ways. It socially impacted the paraplegic, allowing them to participate in athletic events and living their life regularly. My first ever Paralympic Games was Tokyo and I was lucky enough to come back with two gold medals including the first ever track of And not only did the game have a social impact, but also militarily impacted the world by rehabilitating injured military personnel. Goodman helped them regain their confidence, which helped them to live a healthier life. And it has also recently politically impacted the world by allowing a Paralympic athlete, Oscar Pistorius, to participate in the regular Olympic game. While most people were excited about this new change, some others thought it was an unfair advantage on Pistorius' part. 45-year-old sprinter Michael Johnson, the world record holder for the men's 400 meters, said this. Now, should CAS have ever made that particular ruling? I disagree with that. I don't think that they should have made the ruling that he should run because the ruling was based on whether or not he has an advantage or could possibly have an advantage over able-bodied runners who don't have the aid of a prosthetic. His prosthetic could be made such that he's never going to get shin splints. He doesn't have to worry about that. That's something that able-bodied runners have to worry about. He doesn't have to worry about the last 100 meters of the race dorsiflexion, which is how what type of angle your ankle is at and, and for over fatigue, you start to relax the ankle. You would prefer not to. He doesn't have to worry about that. So when you have those types of situations, you really don't know whether or not he could possibly have an advantage over able-bodied runners. After this controversy was settled, Oscar was allowed to run in the men's 400 meters for the 2012 Olympics. And because of the Paralympic Games, new prosthetics and vehicles are designed for the paraplegic athletes. These designs are meant to be safer, faster, and more comfortable for the athletes, allowing them to perform at their fullest abilities at sporting events. The Games has also dramatically changed the lives of many others with physical disabilities. Goodman's idea of involving his patients with sports, thus creating the Paralympics, was brilliant. They suddenly felt, you see, they, they can do something. They can be, they can take part in, in social activities. And because of his creation of the Paralympics, it has marked the turning point in history, changing the way the paraplegics were viewed in the world and proving that even individuals with physical disabilities could still have goals and thrive for successful athletic performances. With the existence of the Paralympic Games, paraplegic athletes from all over the world could meet up once every four years and interact as a whole, athletically and socially. Each and every year that goes by, the Paralympics hope to grow an even bigger and stronger nation, and to one day fulfill their goal of being treated equally with abled body athletes. The Paralympics has come a long way. It made a turning point in history, and also impacted the world. And it will continue to change the world in the future.